Water is considered the most vital ingredient for life, and it's almost always the first thing we search for when considering other worlds. So why is water so essential? Well, it's important for a few reasons. Water basically acts as a lubricant to facilitate all the complex molecular chemistry that occurs on Earth. It's also considered a universal solvent, and crucially, liquid water can transport nutrients from one place to another as well as acting as a cleaning fluid. It's key to enabling most essential processes to happen, so it makes quite a lot of sense that the human body should be 60% water. In humans specifically, water regulates body temperature, facilitates digestion, protects the brain and spinal cord, helps to distribute oxygen, and the list goes on. Earth is unique amongst the rocky planets in the solar system, in that it is the only planet with oceans of liquid water on its surface. Liquid water continues to exist on the surface of Earth, because the planet is distant enough from the sun that it does not lose its water to the runaway greenhouse effect, but not so far that low temperatures cause all the water on the planet to freeze. Because of its versatility and uniqueness, it's no wonder that NASA has the strategy to follow the water when searching for life. It's why determining a given planet's climate is also so crucial, to see whether that planet experiences the right range of temperatures for liquid water to exist. The easiest way to do this is to see if the planet you're studying is in the habitable zone around its host star. Earth happens to be positioned inside this range of distances out from our Sun, which allows it to sustain water. If our Sun were a different type of star, however, that range would change and Earth would be a totally different, most likely totally inhospitable place. Just being in the habitable zone isn't enough, though. By some accounts, both Venus and Mars are in the confines of the habitable zone at certain points in their orbits, but only one planet out of three actually has life. We also have to take into consideration a planet's immediate atmosphere, to see what types of gases it's made out of. Venus, for example, is just on the inner edge of the habitable zone and has some of the right conditions to maintain liquid water on its surface, but not all. Not by a long shot. And that's because the Venusian atmosphere is mainly carbon dioxide, meaning that, thanks to the greenhouse effect, the average temperature skyrockets to about 462 degrees Celsius, at which point water can only exist as a gas. By comparison, Earth happens to be the right distance from the Sun, and it has a favorable atmospheric composition to sustain liquid water. It's capable of hosting life, while Venus really isn't. Here's what would happen if Earth was the only planet in the solar system. The other eight planets in our solar system aren't just pretty to look at, or something that we strive to travel to one day. Even though they're billions of kilometers away, they've played an essential role in life here on Earth. So, what would happen if they never existed? Each planet in the solar system played a vital role in the development of Earth billions of years ago, and they continue playing a vital role in keeping Earth safe today. For example, take the placement of every single planet. They all have their own little space in the galaxy, and that's not by accident. Our planets work together to keep each other in place. For example, if Mercury and Venus cease to exist, Earth might drift closer to the Sun. And if Jupiter or Saturn disappeared, instead of getting closer to the Sun, the Earth might drift further away from it. This would cause a number of issues for us Earthlings. Right now, we're lucky enough to live in what scientists call the Goldilocks Zone. They call it that because Earth sits in the range of orbits around the Sun that are just right to sustain life. If Earth were to move closer to the Sun, it would get a little bit hot. We might burn to a crisp. The farther away we get, the more the temperature would drop. Earth would be too cold to sustain life. 